Okay, in this blog post I'm going to teach you how to be able to stabilize motion within uh, Adobe After Effects. And the footage we'll be using today is a uh, clip of what we're taking from Tyler's Mistake, and it's just a five second clip of Chris running up on the mower. Um, as you'll see, the footage itself isn't too bad, but it's a little bit shaky, and uh, we're going to try and eliminate that now. So, we're going to import this into Final Cut, um, not Final Cut, sorry, into After Effects. So we just drag and drop it into the project window. Uh, make a composition of it by dragging it now from there into the comp window. And now we've got it. And what we're going to do now is we need to bring up the tracker option. So we just go window and then go down into tracker. And then you'll get this box up down in the bottom right if you're using the standard workplace setup. And we're going to be able to stabilize in motion. So we need to find a point on the horizon which doesn't change for all of it. So I know that that point's pretty good, and we're just going to play around with the search box a bit and just have it searching within them. So that's basically all we're going to do, and we're just going to let that analyze forward throughout all of it. And after five seconds, it should stop. And you'll see what it's done is basically track at every point where that point on the horizon is. So now, if we apply that, and it'll just apply to the actual footage, and you see it's keyframed it up. So now if we play, the footage itself remains very stationary and not that bad looking. Um, what we need to do now is eliminate all this grey box that's appeared. The way we do that, we just go there, new camera. We need a 35mm camera, we'll just name this stable. So this camera is now going to be what we're going to be looking through. So now we're working with a 3D camera, we need to toggle this into a 3D layer. So just click that box and we're going to change our active camera to the stable camera um, we'll change our views to four point layout so we're now in virtual space if we just zoom out to touch so we can see what we're working with we know at the beginning we got a little bit of a grey box so we need to play around with the camera a bit to get it eliminated though. so we just zoom out on these and we'll just tweak these forward so we'll bring it forward to about there um, keep it around there a bit more height and we'll just start playing through and see how that is now we can see that it's clipping again but it's not as bad as it was so we need to shift the camera over to the right a lot so we just reselect the camera we'll just bring it over to the right move it in a touch more to eliminate the grey and now let's have a go with it if you see that's not too bad at all there's hardly any clipping again a little bit now so again, the way we correct that, we'll just butcher the camera up so we don't lose Chris. We'll bring the camera a bit further forward, to about there. And then we'll just have a quick playthrough. Brilliant. So now we'll just switch that back to one view. And now if we press play, we'll see the footage has gone from what it was originally to this. So what I'll do, I'll just export this out, give it a quick render. So I'll drag that into the render queue. We'll have it output into the desktop and we'll call it stable. Um, this will take a few seconds. It's not that long. Okay, that's rendered out. If we just hide After Effects and go to the desktop to see the footage. We have uh, the two footage here, and we'll put them alongside each other. So we have this one, and we have this one. The one on the left is the original footage. See, it's quite shaky. And now we have the other footage. And no, not much shaking it at all, so we just play those together. And comparing them side by side, it's a little more zoomed in, but the one on the right is definitely a lot more uh, less shaky and a lot more crisper. I hope that's been some use to you. Again, if you found it useful, throw a comment in the box below. Subscribe to the channel and you see what I'm up to at uni. Um, and you can uh, read about what I'm doing on my blog as well, which will be in the link. Thanks for listening, and I uh, hope you've enjoyed.